When it comes time to hang something heavy on your wall and no stud is available, you want to know you're hanging it the strongest way possible. This video covers five popular drywall anchor options, how they work, and how strong each one is. All the anchors are quarter inch, available at your local box store. So let's take a look. The first anchor is a quarter inch Hillman anchor. It's a small red one that pushes into a 316 inch pre-drilled hole. The way we're gonna test the strength of these anchors is by attaching a bracket using the supplied screw that came with each anchor. You can see this anchor requires the screw to be turned after it's all the way in, so the plastic anchor can ball up on the inside of the wall. This particular anchor's package says this anchor is rated at 45 pounds. This anchor easily exceeded that rating, beginning to tear the drywall out at 72 pounds. The anchor finally broke completely out of the drywall at 94 pounds of force. All right, this next anchor is called the Easy Anchor Self-Drilling Anchor. I should let you know that this anchor, when removed, leaves a fairly large hole behind due to the drilling application. The anchor screws through the drywall with a little bit of force using a screwdriver until it is tight, threading through the drywall as it goes in. Once it's flush, We'll test the weight of this one as well, attaching a bracket. Once the screw is going in, it splits the anchor down the center, but does not change the shape of the anchor as it tightens unlike the other anchors. Like I said, all these anchors are quarter inch. A larger size anchor will have relative but stronger ratings. So the easy anchor package says it's rated for 75 pounds. Like the last anchor, this one exceeds its rating. This anchor doesn't tear the drywall until 142 pounds. Third anchor is a standard cheap plastic anchor, alligator style. This one's made by Toggler for concrete and drywall. Like the first anchor, it pushes or with a hammer taps into a 316 inch hole until it is flush. Using the supply of screws, we'll attach the bracket again. The screw for this anchor splits the anchor in half, helping it grab inside the wall. This anchor claims it can hold up to 69 pounds. It just barely made its claim, beginning to fail at 71 pounds and fully failing at 95 pounds. The next anchor is a different style of anchor. It's a different shape. The blue anchors, also called plast plugs, have a unique design to them. To insert the anchor, you squeeze them flat and push in until the outside is flush. This anchor by far broke the most out of all the ones I tried. While inserting it, if the hole wasn't quite right, the wings would snap off or bend completely out of the way. Once it goes nicely into the hole and the screw is tightening, it will pull back the tip, causing the wings to open inside the wall. Similar to the second screw anchor, these anchors leave quite large holes in the wall, even if removed properly. These blue anchors are rated at 80 pounds. They did exceptionally better by not tearing until around 129 pounds. They actually didn't break free until double their rating at 159 pounds. And finally we have another different shaped anchor. These white flat anchors, also made by Toggler, are called hollow wall anchors. To insert them just like the blue ones before them, you need to fold them in half and push them in the hole wings first. Okay, now the package for these says half inch drywall and in theory, the wings should fold open on the other side of the wall, but it didn't matter which package or how many I tried, I couldn't get them to work properly. So we will test them the way they go in. It seems since you can't see inside your wall, this is most likely the way they would be anyway. The screw still went all the way in and split the anchor, causing it to grab on the inside of the wall. The package weight claims 124 pounds, but since the wings didn't deploy or either broke off trying to go in, the anchor began tearing at only 94 pounds, which still isn't even close to what the package claims, but is still better than the first tube style two anchors that we tried. As soon as it started tearing, four pounds later, it failed. All right, so here's the results from best to worst. Number one and two held quite a bit more weight, but all the first three even moved properly leave a fairly large hole. The second two don't hold as much weight, but leave a very small hole that's easy to patch. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.